So you've built your garage gym, but what's next? Here's my first day of my 30 day program to get you shredded in your garage gym. Let's check it out. My name's Nakoda. Welcome to Beyond Capability. So this first exercise is going to be the overhead press. You'll want your hands just beyond shoulder width, but of course, you can play with it to see what feels right. Keep in mind, the more narrow your grip, the more focus on the interior delts, whereas a wider grip will expand that focus region. Now you'll begin this movement with a simple five by five. That's five sets with five reps. Afterwards, you'll move to four sets of three and then three sets of one. Throughout this program, I leave the weight up to you. Use your best judgment and play with what feels right. For me, I chose 85 pounds for my 5x5 and then moved up to 105 and finally 125 for my singles. With a PR of 185 pounds, this gives me room for progressive overload so I can increase my weight each week. If you're a beginner, I would suggest starting with a single 10 on each side. Go through the program and if you need to increase the weight, we can do so on our next shoulder focus day. Next up will be a rear delt fly. This way we can focus some attention on our posterior chain. You'll want to choose a weight that you can pump out four sets of eight while still having some gas left in the tank. Remember, this is a full body workout designed for three days a week, so we're not going to be going to failure on any exercise. Instead, we're gonna hit each muscle group multiple times a week, so we need to make sure we conserve our energy. If you haven't noticed by now, your legs are dying for some attention. So we're gonna throw in barbell lunges for three sets of 10. That's each leg going through the forward movement for one complete rep. During this movement, you wanna ensure that you're doing a deep lunge, stretching the quad of your stationary leg as far as you can without touching your knee to the ground. This is important because you wanna maintain that built up tension throughout the entire movement. We're going to follow the barbell lunges with a great exercise known as the plank push-up. These are fantastic because not only do they blow up your chest and arms, but you're able to incorporate your core to stabilize you, which is what it does best. For this movement, you're simply going to be transitioning from a hand plank into an elbow plank, followed by a push-up to finish each rep. Five sets of 10 might prove to be difficult for some, so I recommend doing five reps in each set and then finishing with a 30 second plank. Foot placement is key on this next exercise. You want to make sure it's not in the way of the weights. So we're going to get back to our posterior chain. And for this next exercise, we're going to do single arm rows. The key to this is to maintain a straight spine and try not to use your legs to power the weight up. Instead, focus on your lat contracting to bring the weight just below your chest. For every workout, I have designed a focus muscle group blending the lines between a strength program and a body part split. Today, we focused on our shoulders while touching the rest of our body. With that, I like to have a secondary focus, which today is our triceps. So today, we'll end with overhead extensions. If you liked today's video, make sure to thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. But more importantly, please share it with your friends. I'm going to release my full body, 30 day garage gym workout program for absolutely free once I hit 300 subscribers. So if you like following along today, please go share it with your friends. I'll see you next time.